This time, we'll talk about Adam Aaron telling everyone about the failure of the shorts, giving money to cover them, the big payoff, and a lot more. Now, please watch the whole thing. Let's get down to business. Doom was sure that AMC would fail as a business and go out of business in 2025. The rest of you must think that apes because AMC is still going strong, trying new things and making things better. So this is exactly what I think with Adam Aaron actually calling out the shorts. Now everyone knows that the whole reason for why they shorted AMC in the first place was during Co. They thought that AMC was going to go under, hence they dumped a big short position on AMC. But as they realized that AMC was covering and not going to go bankrupt, they continued shorting real shares and they created fake shares on top of that to make sure the price never runs up. And as a way of attempt to again push AMC to bank bankruptcy and throw AMC to the ground, but now we're going in 2025, we clearly know that that is not the case for AMC and Adam Aaron is calling out these exact people we have seen in the past many times before how Adam Aaron has called out the shorts. The synthetic creators and many, many more, and I do think this again is him talking about what we're going in 2025, and again, how shorts have failed and we continue to thrive on now for those of you who want to go further into this. Now, I don't normally do this, but I am curious to hear everyone, um, who is thinking about this, which is a decode of Adam Aaron's message. Now, obviously, I think that Adam Aaron is obviously just congratulating and again calling out the short, but what is apparently here, and I thought this was interesting, is in terms of how they're decoding this, like I said, I'm curious to. What everyone thinks, and don't take this as a proper data, because this is again just a perspective from another ape who talks about when he takes it because of the picture it's red in the background, yellow in the current focus like an um stoplight, and it's waiting for the green light in 2025 as AMC moving forward. Now, this is what I wanted everyone to really think about. You know, do you guys think this is the case? What an interesting story. Everyone is aware that AMC is having a rough time right now. AMC, the company, has moved into new areas of business. We know that AMC can do well in the candy, popcorn, and movie distribution businesses because it is one of the big movie distributors right now. Thrive can grow as a business, and more importantly, it won't go bankrupt. This means that shorts have to put in more and more money every day to keep the price of AMC low. Remember two years ago, they were putting money into AMC shorts to put AMC into bankruptcy. Now they're putting into money into short and into, into AMC to make sure that the AMC price doesn't actually reflect the true value. So again, that's why I think it's interesting that it potentially is awaiting for the green light as 2025 is a big year for AMC and more because of what we're looking at for the default and covering shorts for. Collateral, which again is why I think Adam Marr may be hinting at, and it's the green light which I want to make the correlation with. So what is rule 814 you ask funds to address the member going upside down when the glorified Ponzi scheme fails? So what rule 814 is application of funds for clearing? Member default in the event of a clearing member default, all such clearing members collateral and any other assets into MS or obligations may be drawn upon to cure that clearing member's default, along with any other resources available to the clearing house including but not limited the use of. Lending facilities now to make this simple. What it is is essentially if a firm's U margin was to get too big and they no longer have any money what they will do is that it will automatically sell all of the members collateral and again, any other assets to make sure that they can cover up the hold that they've created to make sure they can. Recover the mistake M Alaska that they have made. Now this again is very important because we know that if the AMC situation keeps getting worse for the short, it will come to a time where it will bring it to the attention and again, the clearing member default is likely to happen. So for those of you wondering if they continue shorting into AMC, and this is why it's important for AMC to stay alive because as long as AMC is not bankrupt, as long as AMC is alive, they have to put more and more money and this hole of losing money just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where if they are defaulting due to the fact they have spent so much money and have lost so much money due to the synthetics, due to the actual price of AMC, that they're trading off in the background, then it may be that they will have to sell all of the assets and again to cover AMC. Please note that this is the exact way you will get your payouts. In case you were wondering, from a different point of view, there are many ways to wait for these people to default while they act like everything is fine, especially with the way the market is right now. The same shorts who are in AMC like set it out will have to sell the same positions as well. This includes AMC shorts. Anyone else who makes the mistake of taking other positions will also have to sell those. It's clear that banks are too dangerous for the economy if they need trillions of dollars in bailouts every few decades. Death taxes are the only thing that stays the same these days. This is not capitalism. This is money. The Federal Reserve's help for banks will only make them more valuable. How the amount of money needed to save these businesses is growing and how things are starting to work out again. Like I said before, 
This might not be Adam Aaron's real message. But just by chance, 2025 will be full of fun things for us if we wait for the clearance. Some of these, like distributing movies and other businesses that make money, are directly linked to AMC, while others are not. One example is that the clearing member's collateral has a loose connection to AMC but not a direct one. All of these things are ready for AMC. In addition, ID banks are buying each other up so that they can help each other stay alive and buy fighting meme supplies. Just like UBS did Credit Suisse, and this is something that we have already been seeing again, we have already seen that happen in 2024, so going along down the years is very likely, or even weeks potentially, is that more likely to see more and more people who got caught up in the AMC shorts to be bailed out, and this is what we saw when Credit Suisse obviously went bankrupt, we knew that was due to the fact they had toxic swaps of AMC and GNGA. And therefore, UBS obviously had to buy up Credit Suisse, but we know that ever since UBS brought up Credit Suisse, UBS is also not in a healthy position again because of the swaps of AMC and GA and GMEN, so we know how toxic these swaps are, we know how damaging these swaps are, and this is the exact way of how we're going to be seeing more and more people going to that verge of defaulting and again, once one firm default and it pushes AMC up, it's only going to increase the domino effect. It's only going to then speed up the whole process of defaulting all the other members as well and understand this. When one firm first for AMC defaults and they have to pay back the AMC shorts, it's going to increase the price drastically, but that is not the start of the squeeze that will again increase the price. The next time you see members of AMC shorts defaulting, it's likely going to be two or three institutions, and when they default and have to cover AMC shorts, it's going to shoot the price up even higher and then it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger eventually where the biggest short sellers of AMC will also be affected. And that is when the massive payday is happening for AMC. Yes, you guys can see this. I really believe they won't be ready for a deep study of mental conflict and battle, unity and faith, but different beliefs in the mind because of the SHSM spots and other tricks. They thought that MSM story psychology would be the only way to keep power over us. I think that warfare is something completely new. Now it's the bad guy who is mentally worn out, not the nice guy who is usually mentally worn out. The actors act like they are set up friends. I can see everything. The phrase one not leaving has more to it than just a catchphrase. I've felt a lot of different emotions over the past three years because of the bad things that have happened to me, such as frustration and anger. That costs a lot, though. That could happen all at once or in waves over the next three years. I'm going to wait here with everyone else. We're probably all very angry about what AMC did recently. When I think of manipulation and suffocation, I think of the AMC squeeze. Things will only get worse, which is something we all know. If the crunch had happened three years ago, they might not have had to pay $500 billion, but they do now. It was clear that trade stopped right away whenever AMC went up by 20 or 30%. AMC would go down when trade started up again. We knew what was going on behind the scenes because it was their job to make sure that the shorts could get some shares and keep the price from going through the roof. We could be talking about a lot of money in three years. Since 2013, they have been putting this off without really coming up with a way to do it. As I already said, these stuck shorts can only get out of this situation if AMC goes bankrupt, which is not going to happen. To go back to Adam Arrow's main point, which is also why I think he's sending this message to show that we won't be going bankrupt anytime soon, that the shorts will still be found, and that you will have to make payments at some point. Thank you for watching the movie. I'll see you soon.